Hi there, Rajvinder here with the new topic that is for MSc students. The subject is nursing education. I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. And the today topic is micro teaching. First of all, I would like to talk about what is the teaching the best approach to understanding the nature of teaching is establishing a harmonious relationship between the teacher between the student and the subject okay then the teaching is the activity of facilitating learning to learn new thing effectiveness is in teaching does not relate to teachers age teacher gender and teaching experience then what is learning and how learning happens? Learning actually, knowledge acquired by study. Learning happens and knowledge is generated. There is a famous saying, I hear, I forget, I see, I remember, I do, I understand for a long time. Okay. Then how learning happens? We remember 20% of what we hear, 30% of what we see, 50% of what we see and hear, but 90% of what we see, hear and doing by oneself. Okay? Then Come to the point that is micro teaching. Micro teaching is invented or discovered in America in the year 1969. Dr. Allen and his group evolved to find the micro teaching. Okay, what is actually the meaning of micro teaching? Micro teaching is like classroom teaching but here the new teacher it, it's for the new teachers who are very new to teaching profession this is very helpful for them to give them confidence and uh, it's given to a very small group but with preparation okay Teaching of a small unit of content to the small group of students, the group is between 6 to 10 numbers of students in a small amount of time between 5 minutes to 10 minutes. Okay, to train inexperienced or new teacher or student teacher for acquiring teaching skills to improve the skills of experienced teachers. It's also helpful for the teacher who want to improve their skills. And in this, the new teacher always do their work under the guidance of their experienced teacher. Then the definition of the definition of the micro teaching. Micro teaching is a scaled down teaching encounter in class size and class time that is given by Alan D.W. Then micro teaching is a training techniques which requires student teacher to teach a single concept using specified teaching skill to a number of pupils in a short duration of time. Okay, then the micro teaching cycle it has uh, some steps from one to six. First one, first step is micro lesson plan. It take at least two hours per day. Then the second step, teach to the, teach to the small number of people for 5 minutes. And after that, the third one is feedback session. Whatever the teacher teach to the student, take the feedback from the students. If there is lacking something, then teacher replan in the step 4 for 10 minutes and again reteach the another group for five minutes in the step number five then the sixth one is read read feedback from the second group for five minutes and it takes total 30 minutes approximately right then micro teaching have a cycle 
which have total six steps. The first one is plan the teaching, plan the uh, topic, prepare the topic, then teach to the first group. After that, take feedback from the first group. After that, if any kind of limitations or want any improvement, then replan the topic. Reteach to the another group, re feedback from the another group, and uh, if any lacking here, then again first step start. In this way, this process is always in continuation, right? Then next is characteristics of micro teaching. It's total eight characteristics. Yeah, eight. First one is. Duration of teaching as well as number of students are less as comparative to the full as comparative to the teaching given by experienced one. Content is divided into smaller units like definition, sign and symptoms, and some another part of the particular topic. Only one teaching skill is considered at a time. Here uh, under the micro teaching, when the competent teacher assess to the new teacher, that time only one skill is considered like if the uh, confidence, then way of explanation, handling of the class, these kind of things, one by one, it could be improved in the new teacher. Then provision of immediate feedback, it's easy for teacher also. In micro teaching cycle, there is facility of re planning, re teaching, and re feedback. It puts the teacher under the microscope to improve the teacher skills. All the faults of the teacher are observed. The problem of discipline can also be controlled. Fine. Then, comparison between micro teaching and traditional teaching. What happened in traditional teaching and micro teaching? Class in the traditional teaching, 40 to 60 students are present in the class, but in the uh, small uh, in the small group, six to ten students are there. Okay. On the second steps, the teacher practice several skills at a one time at one time, but in the teacher takes up one skill at a time. Okay. Then the next one is in the traditional teaching, the duration is 42 45 minutes as comparative to the micro teaching. There is a uh, there is uh, duration is only five to seven minutes. Then the next one is immediate feedback is not available in traditional teaching, but it is happened in the there is immediate feedback in micro teaching. Then the next one is there is no control over situation in the traditional one but uh, there is a controlled situation in the micro teaching. There is no clear role of the supervisor or the teacher but there is a specific role of the teacher or supervisor in micro teaching. Then pattern of classroom interaction cannot be studied. But in micro teaching, pattern of classroom interaction can be studied objectively. I hope you clear this. Then the skills of micro teaching techniques. There are total six skills. Introduction skills. How to introduce the topic in the class. Then skill of probing probing questions. How to how the brainstorming to the class students, then skill of explanation, then skill of stimulus variation, skill of blackboard writing, skill of achieving closer, means concluding, conclusion, the conclusion, the topic, conclude the topic, sorry. Then the first one is introduction skills, establishing rapport with the learners to gain the confidence, then linking with the past experience, it, it's the matter of the topic, then link between introduction and main parts, use of appropriate devices, techniques like questioning, examples, blah, blah, blah. 
okay next is skill of probing questions probing questions are those which help the pupils to think in depth about the various aspects of the problem for example you are going to give the micro teaching on the topic of pain then when you would like to start the class that time you can ask the question to the students dear students according to you pain is a friend or a enemy and these questions help the student to think about the topic okay by asking such questions again the teacher makes the pupils more thoughtful enable the pupils to understand the subject deeply then skill of explanation it involves the ability of a teacher to describe logically how why and what of concept okay precautions of for skill of explaining is simple language could be used by the teacher should not be given the shape of an advice should be in the sequence should be according to the age experience and mental level of the students according to the class topic delivered to them okay skill of stimulus variation teacher movement teacher gestures change in voice focusing change in the interaction pattern pausing students physical participation these topics are very necessary to become a competent teacher so you have to adopt these kind of skills skill of blackboard writing components of skill of blackboard writing are legibility what does it mean whatever you write on the blackboard your writing should be clear and understandable to the student size and alignment the blackboard should be divided into parts where you can write the subject name topic name uh, your content part rough work and the uh rough work and anything else any important you would like to explain with the help of board okay highlighting main points utilization of the space of the board blackboard summary then correctness position of the teacher and contact with the pupils okay these are the blackboard writing skills okay then the next is skill of achieving closure means when the teacher reached up to the conclusion part questions and statements by the teacher related to the consolidation of the major points covered during the lesson main emphasis the teacher put the main emphasis on the things which he explained earlier then opportunity is provided by the teacher to the pupils for linking the present knowledge with the past knowledge opportunity is provided by the teacher to the pupils for applying the knowledge gained during the lesson to the new situations then feedback in micro teaching helpful information or criticism that is given to someone to say what can be done to improve a performance products etc then the success of micro teaching depends on feedback it is used in various forms in case of micro teaching by the supervisor video tape films tv which are various sources of feedback i hope you clear this then there are some benefits of micro teaching it focuses on sharpening and developing specific teaching skills and eliminating errors from the new teachers okay it enables understanding of behaviors important in classroom teaching which kind of behavior good and which kind of behavior stimulate the students to learn more and more and think about the topic which are discussed in the class okay it increases the confidence of the learner teacher it is a vehicle of continuous training for both beginners 
and for senior teachers okay it provides experts supervision and constructive feedback then there are some demerits also it requires competent and suitable trained teacher educator okay your teacher your supervisor should be more competent and motivate you to achieve the target of competence higher competency in teaching profession it is time consuming it takes time application of micro teaching to new teaching practice is limited it ten tends to reduce the creativity of the teachers it can be carried out successfully in a controlled environment only then why teaching profession is good because to teach is to learn i will always be a student of teaching then next is remember even the best teacher can learn a great deal from his or her students or i cannot teach anybody anything i can only make them think about then the last one the secret of teaching the secret to education is respect the pupil respect the students and a student respect you that is the funda of teaching profession thank you very much i hope you learn very well this topic if you face any kind of problem kindly inform me i feel very happy to help you in this topic thank you very much take care you